Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, Grand Doozy here. How you guys doing today? Man, oh man. I am well and blessed by the best. I stole this phrase from one of my, uh, my colleagues and my friend and my brother. Um, anytime I ask him how he's doing, he said he's blessed by the best. So, what I started doing is, he asked me how am I doing, I say I'm blessed by the best best. <laughs> so, now he caught what I was doing, so now, so he caught up with what I was doing, the kind of game that I want to play with him, so, now I go ask him, how you doing? He said he's blessed by the best, 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 best. So now I keep going. So he asked me, how am I doing? I said, well, I'm blessed by the best, 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 and I never stop. And that's exactly how I'm feeling today. I'm blessed by the best, 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 best. And I know you're doing the same too. Well, today, just got off of work. Weather is beautiful. I can't just see it waste, so I just drop a gear and get lost. Let me fix this camera real quick. There you go. Nope. Oh, okay, we good now. We getting there. Yep, so I just got off of work, and I just want to drop a gear and get lost. I'm still new to this area, so I'm trying to learn my way around with the routes and all that kind of stuff. Um, looking for my escape route, just in case of emergency, anything like that. Um, but one thing I can tell you though, the traffic in Georgia sucks. <laughs> traffic in Georgia sucks, guys. If you know, you know. I thought it was California. No way, not even close, not even LA. This, this traffic sucks and I'm sorry. I'm about to make this bold statement and I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at me, but most Georgians don't know how to drive, period. Man, I call it a lion's den. Most Georgians don't know how to drive, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Sometimes, when I'm in my car on the bike, it's always something, man. One thing they know how to do is speeding. Man, Georgians know how to speed. Like, this is the only place that you see a Georgian driving 80 miles on a 35 mile zone. And they will still honk at you. Even if you're doing like 80 miles per hour on 35 zone, they're gonna tailgate you and honk at you and tell you to get out of the way so they can pass you. They know how to speed though, <laughs> but they can't drive. They cannot drive here, man. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. And if you ever get caught in traffic, you might as well just forget about it. Just forget about it and call it a night or a day, depending on the time that you get caught. Like, there is absolutely nothing you can plan here in this state. As much as I love it, I dislike it sometimes. I don't want to use the word hate because it's such a strong word. But you guys, if you've ever been to Georgia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the traffic sucks. You can never plan your day. Like when I was living up north, you can make a, a list of stuff that you wanted to do for the day. Like oh, nine o'clock, I'm gonna go to BJ's. 10 o'clock, I'm gonna stop by at uh, Costco. 11, I'll go to the mall. 12, I'll do this. Like you can practically plan your day. And then on top of that, you know, the times that the traffic will pick up, up north. Here, forget about it. Every day is the same. 
It doesn't matter if it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. It doesn't matter. The traffic suck is so bad that your best bet of moving around is to land the back roads. The back roads are your best friends. This place sucks so bad. Like anytime I, I got on a car or on a bike, uh, my, my heart is right here. I, I made a video in regards to um, uh, uh, loud pipes, highways, and a lot on what saved life. Like I have had two or three close calls. And as a matter of fact, I think almost a year and a half ago, or almost two years, here in Georgia, some girl just ran into me, ran, ran me, got off, and took off, ran away. <laughs> but I caught her on my dash cam, and the cops went and got her. Like, the way they drive here, it just, it, it drives me insane. And I cannot stand it. I'm trying, guys, but I cannot stand it. But today, I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm, I just dropped my gear. I, I'm just getting lost. I'm trying to find uh, the back roads, alternative route. Uh, I work in Atlanta, but I'm going the opposite way. Because if you don't make uh, the back roads your best friend, you're always gonna have a problem here. Yeah, the highways are not your good option, your best option when it comes to traveling or commuting. No. It doesn't matter the day, the hour, the time, the weather, and you see so many accidents. One thing that really uh, sounds funny to me, whenever you open the radio, all you hear is uh, accident commercials on the radio. That's all you hear all day. That's all you hear. Lawyer this, lawyer that. Attorney this, attorney that. That's all you hear, accident. Were you ever in an accident? Call me. Oh, are you planning to be in an accident? Just give me a call. <laughs> That's all you hear, so they know, and it's so sad that my insurance has tripled. Like triple, triple. And I understand why. Last year, my home insurance pulled out from Georgia. I don't know why. If home too have some kind of uh, <laughs> some bad luck, so we don't even have no hurricanes. Well, I've been here for like three years, and uh, I mean I haven't seen no uh, bad weather. Uh, the one that came through like two, three years ago. But I mean, every year it does, but it's not close to where I am, you know, like close to Florida line, like uh, Tiftane area, it's way too far away. Yeah, you see that a lot around there. So, but yeah, my home insurance, they, they, pulled, they pulled out from Georgia. So I called them. I'm like, oh, what's going on, man? I need a home insurance for this home, man. They're like, nah, we pulled away. I said, what do you mean you pulled away? They say, yeah, we pulled away. This place is so crazy. You know, so I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, um, my family love it. They happy. They love the weather. They love the food. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, like um, a lot of, um, you know, uh, vacation spot here. So they love it. And whenever I go to work or I meet a new person or someone on the road, and then they will ask me, where are you from? I say, I'm from up north. They're like, you like it here? I say, nah, I'm not, I don't know. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I say, I'm still working on it. And they laugh at me. But I remember one time I met this lady, and she told me that, um, Jess, she's not from here too. She was from Chicago, and she, she's been here for like five years, going on six years, and she felt the same way that I felt. And what she can tell me is just, just find a way, just find a way to fit in, um, and everything is gonna be okay. 
And I said, okay, I'll try. And she asked me, what, what, I, what, what is it that I hate the most here? I didn't want to use the word hate, but she asked me, what is it that I hate the most here? I said, the damn traffic. <laughs> She's like, well, drive like them. I said, no, man. I'm not going to drive like them, okay? That would never happen. I'm not going to behave like some of them. Not, not all of the drivers, though, but majority, I would say a good 95% of the drivers here, man, they don't know how to drive, period. And then when they see you, they will not let you in. Like when I was up north, and if I see a driver, out of state driver, just show some kind of courtesy, like, just like, this, this guy is not from here. Maybe they, they lost, they don't know where they're going. Even here in Georgia, like this place is so big to the point that the fact that you see everyone with a Georgia tag doesn't mean they know their way around or they know where they're going. So just a, a common courtesy, if you see someone like they're trying to get over or trying to get in front of you or something like that, just, just let them go. Not here, man. They're gonna try to race with you and cuss at you and say something stupid that is gonna piss you off. But I tried to hold it together, man. I tried. And I've been doing so good. But sometimes, man, it's, it's hard, man. It's hard. And like I was saying, my old GoPro, man, I had so many funny footage on there that I wish I never had lost that uh, camera. And one thing I would never do again, you know, you guys, you know that I, I'm a filmmaker. And what I was doing is um, I bought about, uh, I think 512 gig of card on here and then put it, put it in my camera. So I, I, I had uh, hours and hours of footage. So when that happened, I don't do it anymore. Like this camera right here, I only have 64 gig. When I get home, I'm gonna go and export the footage on there and keep it, make it safe. This one is shooting 8K right now. And I have a 64 gig. I refuse to get anything that probably the most that I will get in my camera card will be maybe 128. That's it. That will be the max because I had so many hours and hours of footage on that GoPro and I lost it all, man. I would have shown you guys. Actually, the place that a girl hit me is right here on this road, on that gas station right there. Yep, it was right here on this road when she hit me. She hit me, I get out, she get out, she look at my car, she's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you, there's nothing wrong with your car. Got it back in your car and pew! I say, wow, that's how y'all do it here? She don't care if I was okay or like, like she don't care. She look at my car, she was a, she was her own inspector, right? So she inspected my car for me. She was like, oh. And she was a doctor at the same time. One person, she turned into a doctor and she turned into a, some kind of insurance adjuster or inspector to, to, to check on my car to make sure this camera is gone. So we're gonna be filming on here until next time it got full. Anyway, she didn't care. It was, a, it was a kid. I would say maybe 24, 25. And she was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with your car. Got back in the car, took off. Luckily, I had a dash cam in my car and it recorded everything. So the cop came. I showed the cop the, um, the license plate and everything. She put it out there and they caught her, they caught her. <laughs> they said, turn yourself in if you know what's best for you. Because that's a, that's a felony, you know? Hit and run is automatically a felony. So um, it happened around, I'll say, 
three thirty, four, around this time, you know, in the evening. And around six o'clock, this is per the police report. Around six o'clock, she turned herself in and uh, she apologized to the uh, the cop. Not even to me. I apologized to the cop that oh, she was never. She didn't know what was going on, and that was the first time. And da 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 da. So they kind of worked some deal with her. I don't know. I don't care. But um, that that's what people would would do here, man. You know. So, um, uh, when it comes to safety, I'm going to do a, a safety video uh, very soon. But um, today is just, uh, you know, trying to, you know, learn the back roads. As you guys can see, I don't have no GPS. I don't have nothing. I'm just, I'm just driving uh, just to learn my way around the back road. Because if you want to leave here, the back roads are going to be your best friend. If you want to depend your commute solely on the main highways, um, man, you're going to hate this place. You're not going to last. So today, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just dropping a gear. I have a full tank. Well, not so much full, but 98 miles, which this bike is a beast. So 98 is probably um, 20 miles. <laughs> Yep, 98 is probably 20 miles, so yeah, I just want to drive around, ride around, and um, maybe we can hit a highway. What do you guys think? I've, I've never hit on the highway with um, with this setup. I don't know how it would sound as far as the sound, and um, you know, I don't even know how to get on the highway from here. Um, yeah, you guys got me. Let's turn here, see what is going on over there. Yeah, so, man, oh man, if you have any experience in Georgia here, please drop a comment down below. <laughs> Do you agree with me? These guys don't know how to drive. I'm telling you, man, they don't know how to drive. Um, but they have some weird driving laws here that I cannot understand. They, they, their driving laws are so strict. And I say, how, how do you have a, such a law, a robust law, but your drivers cannot drive? Now, one thing that I know they're good at, another thing that I know judges are good at, is stopping at a stop sign. Man, they will, they will stay there for like two minutes. I swear, <laughs> I swear to you, man. At a stop sign, they don't play. They, man, I wish uh, there's, a, uh, there's a car here, there's a stop sign, anything. And count how long a car will stay at the stop sign, man. Unless I made, I made a good driver, they will stay on the stop sign for at least a good, I don't know, six, seven seconds. I've, I've, I've had someone with like 10 seconds. I'm like, dude, this is not a traffic light. Move. And then you honk your horn, they'll be like, whoa, what, what's your problem, man? Can't you wait? <laughs> What do you mean cannot wait? It's not a it's, uh, red light or anything. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, I, I, this is no lie. This is no lie. So today, I'm exploring all these back roads. I know I cannot do it in a day. But um, actually, you know what? Let me turn here. I know I cannot do it in a day, but um, let's see what we can do. Somebody that doing their barbecue. I'm telling you, their food is good. It doesn't matter, like Jamaican food, Haitian food, African food, Ghanaian food. Shout out to the um, the restaurant in Norcross. Man, Ike's. Whoo! I'm telling you, man, they got some good food just like Philly. The, the food here is very, very comparable to uh, the food in, in, in Philadelphia. They got some good food. That I'm not going to lie to you. All right? People here, they know how to party. I believe because of the weather. Like yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. And um, everywhere you go, there's a lot of cars, even in my neighborhood. Like people are parked there. They're having a party. 
you know, there's a lot of infrastructure going on. Like that, I, I'll give it to this, oh man. I'll give it to this place. All day, anytime, any day. Yes. I'll give it to this place. But, I'm telling you, man. I, I, I'm trying to love this place, man. Some of the people are extremely nice. Majority of them. They are super nice. Um, and some of them are not so nice. I remember I went to a, a Walmart one day. And I believe this lady was having a bad day. I, I can almost believe that. Oh, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, I know where I'm at. Yep, I know where I'm at. Okay, I know where I'm at. That's good. That's good. But anyway, this lady was at Walmart. And um, when I was getting to the queue, I knew she was standing there, but I wasn't sure. Actually, it wasn't Walmart. It was BJ's. I wasn't sure if she, you know, if you ever been to BJ's and you look, you're standing in the self checkout, you know, they have a self. Now everybody's got it. But um, BJ's, this is a little different. So I wasn't sure if this lady was in a, in a queue. I didn't want to, you know, jump in front of her by any means. So, um, me and my family, so I, I pulled close to her and I said, ma'am, are you in line? I don't want to jump in front of you. Man, that was a mistake. She flipped up on me. She was like, man, you trying to pick me up. I don't like you, man. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't like, do I look? I said, ma'am. <laughs> and everybody was like, what the hell? I said, all I'm trying to do is to ask you if you're in a queue, because I don't want to hop in front of you, that's all. I'm not here to uh, make friends or get your number, <laughs> anything like that. Oh boy, I was wrong, man. She went off of me and everybody was shocked. And they like, I think she crazy, she cuckoo. I said, I don't know, man, you, you tell me. You tell me, you know? So there, there's some weird people around here and there's super nice people here. Like I've, I've, uh, I've been in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a grocery store where um, this guy just offered to pay for my stuff. I said, what? He said, yeah, man, that's okay. I said, what? I, I, he said, no, 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 you, you're good, you're good. I said, wow. He just offered to pay for my stuff for, for no reason. And you know, I've been out with my family and somebody just woke up to one of them and he was like, yeah, g give this to you. I say, what? And I get, I have that happen a lot here. So there are some good people around here, pretty much everywhere you go, you know, there are good people and not so good people. Um, but the ones that are really good here, Man, you'd be blessed to have them. Like, my neighbor, he's like my brother. If I call him up right now, right now, he will pick up, tell him, hey, can you come pick me up? Like, he will pick up my call, and he will come right here and pick me up, like that. He say, I'm his brother, and I say, he is my brother. Super nice person, nice person, in and out. So, yeah, that's my experience living here in Georgia. I don't know how many minutes that I have on this card because the last uh, video that I had, I still have it on there. So I'm gonna make this very quick and short, nice and sweet. Uh, have you ever been here? Do you have any experience in what I'm telling you? I, I can't even remember all my experiences. Um, but, um, if you ever been here, you live here, you disagree with me, like you guys are the best drivers in the state, in the union, <laughs> come prove it to me, man. But I'll say no. You guys cannot drive. About 90% of you guys cannot drive. Not all of Georgians, majority of them cannot drive. 
and that is the reason why you turn on the radio all you hear is uh, advertisement for accident have you ever been into an accident are you planning to be in one call me man i'm gonna make you a millionaire <laughs> It's just so funny, man. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this special video or episode. It's your boy, Grand Diesel. Let me go straight this time. I know where I'm going, so let me go, let me go straight. So it's your boy, Grand Diesel. I'm still exploring this area. Um, hit me up if you live around here. Maybe we can go for a ride. I'll be having a special uh, guest on this channel very shortly uh, one of my subscribers and he, he happened to be my friend's friend and I've met him in person he is so energetic him and his wife they are so adventurous they be they've been on the tail of a dragon like four times they have one wheel they always out there doing stuff and I told him I said man I'm gonna invite you so we can go for a ride he's got a nice BMW uh, I don't know the kind of bike. I know it's BMW, but I don't know the model. Um, we are scheduled to go for a ride together. And uh, I'm thinking about um, going to Roswell to, uh, to test drive one of these uh, Can-Am because I want one. And uh, I have more stuff coming up. So just uh, stay tuned. Oh, hold on, hold on guys. Let's see the, uh, the, the red light. Let's see how long this guy is gonna last here. Let's see. Come on, don't make me, oh, <laughs> I, I bet you she heard me, or he heard me, that's why, that's why, she heard me talking about them, so they're behaving themselves, <laughs> but um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode, I have more videos coming up, stay tuned, and always know that God loves you, and Grant loves you too, okay, alright, see ya.